Howdy folks, Colin and Shreya Lay here. We are attorneys at Lay Roots. Lay Roots is an awesome asset protection law firm. Yeah, we focus exclusively on asset protection. Today, we wanted to talk about one of the very basic questions of setting up an asset protection plan, and that is whether to have an offshore plan or a domestic plan. Oh, yes, that is a common question that we get. Mm, but before we get there, mm -hmm. if you have questions about setting up your own asset protection plan, please visit livemorecarefree.com, book a free initial chat with us, with her. That's livemorecarefree.com. If you were to get dragged into court, someone's suing you for some frivolous lawsuit, and you're in there in front of the judge, do you feel that you will be treated fairly? Right, because if it's the same court that you know allows these bogus lawsuits to come forward, do you feel like that same court will treat you fairly? Can you rely on them yeah. to protect you, to safeguard your assets, mm -hmm. those sorts of things? So if the answer is yes, then sure, maybe you should think about it all domestic uh, asset protection plan. Mm -hmm. If the answer is no, then you definitely want to be thinking about offshore. And you don't have to be completely offshore. Right. After all, our prep trust that we do, it's a combination. You yeah. can pick and choose. You, you take the best of each. Mm -hmm. Take the best of domestic, best of offshore, and you can combine them together. And I just want to say that part of the reason that we started offering that and came up with this with the prep trust is because we understand that you know a lot of people wanting to protect themselves they're still in the wealth building phase of their of their life and so they want that flexibility of having their accounts easily accessible um, onshore in a domestic bank like not mm -hmm. changing that stuff around um, great point. with the great protection that offshore trusts offer yeah. mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people that are going fully mm -hmm. offshore, at that point they've got some sort of nest egg that they're right. they're sending off. That and, rainy day fund. Yeah, and it's going to be kind of hands off and um, just out there. Yeah. Being safe just in case. Right. Yeah, but typically we tell people for strength of protection, mm -hmm. offshore has a more proven track record, a yeah. proven track record versus domestic planning, yeah. which has a track record it's iffy. of not working yeah. for various reasons. Yeah. And if you want to talk more about those reasons um, and why maybe a hybrid or fully offshore trust might be right for you, then feel free to talk to me about that. Oh, swinging it back to that yeah, call from, to action. Yeah. Livemorecarefree.com. Yes. All right. That's the place. All right, well, thanks for watching. Yes. All right, see you next time.